Hey YouTube, it's Dan here, and uh, today I have a review on an application called iTether. Now, uh, this app was in the App Store for a good day or so, and uh, was removed by Apple uh, sometime yesterday night. This is a basic iPhone app that allows you to tether your iPhone's internet connection with your Mac or PC for the one-time fee of $15. Um, by comparison, AT&T and Verizon charge $20 per month for their tethering plans and Sprint charges $30 per month. So this one-time fee is better than going ahead and paying $20 or $30 a month just so you can tether your internet. Now let's show you guys how this application works. So first what you want to do is you're going to want to go to uh, iTether's website, link will be in the description below, and download the Mac or the PC version, whichever one you guys are using. And uh, what you want to do is launch the application. This application right here just tells you the connection, the packet sent, just the basic stuff. And it'll tell you the status. Uh, Tether is not running on the iPhone. So right now, my tethering is not working on the iPhone. And this tethering only works via USB. Doesn't work Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, only USB. So let's uh, open up the tethering application on the iPhone. And there it's basically just going to run the same exact things as it's running on the actual application on your Mac or your PC. But since mine is on airport mode on my phone, it's not going to allow me to show you how this works, but I'm going to turn that off and then turn it right back on. So uh, give me a second here. Um, so now it's going to want me to reload the application since I just turned my internet back on. So uh, let's go ahead and enter the application. And here it is connected to the USB and it actually shows it. And uh, it pulls up a new tab in your browser and it says connected. So I will turn off my Wi-Fi and I will start browsing. So let's go to um, let's go to MacRumors.com. And it actually loads relatively quickly. Now I'm in a good cell area, so it all depends on where you're at and things like that. Now if you guys are trying to get this application it might be a little bit difficult to get uh, because it just got taken down from the app store but there are other ways of doing this and I'm not sure if I can show you guys that or not but I will uh, see if I can and if I can I will post a video on how to get this the other way since it's now taken down from the app store. So uh, comment, like, and subscribe guys. I will see you guys in the next video and hopefully that will be up sometime this week. So I'll see you guys.